Hey my friends, I just want to let you know that today you are in alignment. And some of you may wonder what it means. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by I am in alignment? What I can do about it? But I can say today you are in alignment with the energy of attracting what you want. You are attracting what you want. I'm receiving emails and messages every single day about on what I can focus at this moment so I can attract this or that or certain material things and I always reply back that at this moment you are attracting it but we are not focusing on that because we are not aware of that I want to show you something here on this painting it's the name of this painting mind as the creator and here i wrote that life is not a journey it's a constant creation of every single moment ev with every single thought every single second so if you're focusing on lackness of it you are attracting more of the events which will awaken the lackness within you but if you are focusing on the goal on whatever it is that you would like to manifest it you will manifest it it is coming to you so when you are asking yourself how to focus on it you're actually sending the vibrations as i don't have it yet if you are focusing like, if you say like this, you say how to manifest it, you're actually making the vibration of I don't have it yet. When you start living your life as you already have it, I'm saying always like that, because you are not separated from what you want to manifest. We will be precise about it, so don't worry. You are in alignment, my friends. Every single day you are in alignment. It means that you are constantly attracting it. But the problem is we are focusing on not having it. Not on having it, but not having it. That's the problem. That's, that's what is creating the separation from where we are right now and what we have at this moment. And the other thing is that we think that we will be happy when we will get it. That's the another thing. Because so many people are writing me, I want to manifest. Oh, just a moment. So many people are writing me, I want to manifest a certain amount of money, a certain car, a certain house, and things like that. And it's nothing wrong with it. But most of the time, it's problem. Not a problem, but more like a mystery. That we think we need those things, but it's not our sole purpose. What is the sole purpose? It's the purpose of your being, why you are here. What will truly make you happy? And if I can share here my own personal experiences, what is making me happy, it's creating I'm truly happy when I'm creating, when I'm painting, when I'm creating content like this. I'm truly happy when I'm expressing myself. That's what is creating my emotions of happiness. When I'm creating, I'm letting this energy flowing through me. And the outcome of that is my financial abundance, my material abundance, whatever it is, it's the outcome of that. So, most people are just focusing on material possession. I want to have this. I want to have a certain amount of money. I want to have that and, you know, whatever. Again, it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with owning the things. But it's not... It doesn't mean that those things will make you happy. If you're not happy at this moment, you will not be happier when you will have it. So the point here is find the things that you love to do. 
with the vision or the focus on as you already have everything and here it, it's kind of mystery to understand it right because still people like I said are writing me on what I can focus so I will tell you how I started when it when I started learning more about manifesting and when I've manifested the first things that I wrote down on a piece of paper and things like that when everything started I was I was doing meditation visualization like I'm doing here guided meditations you can find it all here on my channel I was doing I was doing meditations with visualizing where I was visualizing as I already have it then I was awakening emotions as I already have it emotions of joy and happiness and when I wake up from that meditation I was living as I already have it I was like emotionally experiencing as I already have it and it looks like that for example when me and my girlfriend were walking outside and we saw a certain house that we that we really like which was kind of oh we would like to have that kind of a house we were joking like oh we can buy it or we were joking like we are living in that house you know we were making a conversation as it already exists so that's how we stopped making that separation oh i can't afford it i can't afford this car or things like that it really doesn't matter but the material things it truly really doesn't matter but when it comes to energy that we are creating it's much easier to create that separation I can't afford it I can't afford it and when we are for a long period of time creating this thought pattern I can't afford it it becomes our state of being the state of being is the core vibration of attracting more of the things into our life so once again you probably heard it fake it till you make it what it means <laughs> we all know what it means right but when it comes to our personal lives most of the times we can't truly really fake what we are experiencing and when it comes to our reality our financial situation and material situation whatever we possessed at this moment it's like let's say that way we are having fun <laughs> so yes like I said I will be precise about it when it comes to material things if you want to manifest a certain house the first thing you need to stop doing is stop saying I can't afford it maybe you can't afford it afford it at this moment but the process of manifesting is a long-term process and if you will stop saying that at this moment you can say the opposite I can buy it or in my future I can see myself in that house and it's just a statement it's just a certain pattern of thoughts but if we are repeating those thoughts over and over again for a long period of time we are talking now about affirmations which can reprogram our subconscious beliefs suddenly we will start experiencing more events which will bring us into that reality <clears throat> and if this is still hard to understand we need to find something we truly really love to do because less we are focusing on that material things more we are focused on ourselves when we are focused on ourselves we feel abundant and that's when we are aligned with everything else so like i said at the beginning you are in alignment with everything you want every material thing you want because when we learn the basic principles about manifesting 
there comes the thing that every or each person will tell you each individual that become good with manifesting will tell you that the material things are they don't matter not because like we don't need money and things like that but because they are not the source of happiness when we become happy the good things will come to us but we are like with our attention we are designing in which direction we are going so when we are happy if we have our attention where we want to be those things will come to us so our attention is our energy that's where we are sending our energy with our attention we are sending our energy clear intention then means where do you see yourself in your future and if again i'm repeating you are in alignment with everything that you want at this moment that means that you are not separating anymore yourself from where you want to be not that you are already there but you can see yourself there and if you can see yourself there you are totally cool with yourself you're totally okay with yourself right now because you know that you're walking into the right direction it's just a mind game it's not that you need certain proofs outside of you because you are creating proofs here with your vis visualization with your emotional expression you're creating proofs so when we say proofs from the universe we actually, with that we mean that we become more aware of seeing the feedback from the change of our energy. We are more aware, <laughs> we are more aware of the feedback, so we are able to see the feedback from the change of our energy. If we can see the feedback, we can find the proofs that we are actually changing our energy. Our energy is that's who we are. We are the energy. We are like we are made out of atoms. Atoms are like energy tornadoes. And when we shift our awareness, our state of consciousness, the state of being, when we shift our state of being, we are changing the waves of energy in waves there are informations and those informations are manifesting and who is in the background of observing that manifestation it's consciousness and that's who we are because we are observing the manifestation and that's why it's so hard to understand it because when we say i am not this body I am not who you are seeing here. Also, you are not who you are seeing when you are looking into your hands. Because that's a physical form. That's a manifestation of the energy. But your consciousness behind that, observing that physical world. And when we become aware that we are actually the consciousness observing that physical world, we become creators. If I am observing this, I can change my perception and I will see something else. And if I will change that perception and I will stay on that new perception for a long period of time, the matter will manifest. And that's the beauty of creating the life, creating this, that physical reality. So why I showed you this painting here I show it again once again so probably I would need a fisheye lens here but it's okay so here is I wanted to paint to paint the mind here but you know how it is to paint the mind it's we don't know what the mind is it's a field of information so it's hard to paint it but here is the brain which is manifesting planets which are going through the tunnel of time here is a hand like a god's hand uh, 
throwing out the seeds of life which are manifesting physical life here here we can see a tree one on one side it's a blooming tree on the other side it's a dying tree it's a manifestation of our thoughts positive and negative thoughts are constantly manifesting and here is a book so this painting it is going into this direction but why it's a book at the end because in this book are our stories because past and future is an illusion but we can still write that illusion into a certain story so people can learn from it and it's so important to understand it because what you are producing that's who you are and make sure that each day you will put out something positive so somebody behind you can learn something good from you or maybe next generations your kids or whoever it is whatever we are producing that's who we are so once again make sure to produce something positive to make a positive effect on the world that's what we need we all we all know that right now we are moving through such a unique times and many people are scared right now in panic and what we can truly do to change it is to focus on positive results because where our attention goes that's where energy flows and if we would not be focusing so much on what is going wrong but focusing more on the positive results we would manifest positive results we would manifest changes we would manifest a new opportunities i always say that in my videos focus on what you can change focus on the results and you will manifest opportunities and it's so important like most of the people are watching news and reading about negative stuff and that's what is feeding up our mind so that is what we are manifesting more of that informations but when we focus on the solution on something positive we will we will manifest opportunities and if we will apply those opportunities in our lives we will manifest positive results so that's why for me manifestation is so important thing to understand and that's why i'm talking about manifesting a lot in my videos and like i said i'm receiving more and more emails about on what to focus on how to get into that alignment with everything and like i said you are already in alignment it's just the matter of focus you're putting and when or where you're putting your attention because <laughs> so yes one more time you are not separated from your results you're not separated from anything you are already owning all the things that you want you can't see them yet because you are producing the energy so you can't see it yet you need to manifest it but it is coming to you as long as you're not separated from it in your perception you are in alignment with what you want you are in alignment with it you are attracting it but when you start asking on what to focus on you are already separating yourself because you are producing the energy like i said before i don't have it yet i'm in lack of it so don't ask yourself how to focus on it because you already have it in your future the best possible way to say here is say that you can see yourself with that thing in your future and emotionally experience it every time when you are meditating 
emotionally experience it as you already have it but the most important thing is do what you love every single day find the things that you love to do find the things that you love to do every single day whatever it is for me it's painting but find for you whatever it is that you love to do because you will see you will feel that increased energy within your body you will be happier you will be more relaxed and with your clear intention because of that higher energy you, you will manifest faster the good things into your life so focus on good things and you will attract good results and do what you love do what you love my friends you are in alignment with whatever you want to experience do what you love be happy enjoy your life even when things are hard focus on good results and you will manifest opportunities this is it for today my friends i'm sending you lots of blessings lots of love have an, have an amazing time and see you soon peace